We've been looking at the effects of very low doses of maternal consumption of alcohol. That is mother who drinks something like two to three, four glasses of wine a week, which is a very low dose. And what we find is that if you look at the fetus when the mother's drinking, you see that it changes its behavior, its movements decrease. If you look at the development of behavior, it delays its development. And if you look at very basic learning responses, you see delays in the learning responses. And all this indicates that all these aspects are controlled by the baby's brain. So we can see that these very low doses of alcohol are having an effect on the baby's brain, which is influencing its behavior. Uh, alcohol appears to have two, two effects. There's a direct effect in that alcohol gets into the brain and affects how it's wired, how it develops, and so the brain's not the same as those that haven't been exposed to alcohol. But we now know that the way the baby behaves in the womb is important for development, so it needs to move to shape its muscles. It needs to show some forms of primitive learning to develop those circuits. And alcohol, by stopping movements, by changing its ability to learn, influences the baby's brain in an indirect way as well. Yeah, I mean, I think the conclusion of the research, and not going beyond our findings, is that a single unit of alcohol, one glass of wine, affects the behavior of the fetus, which means it's affecting its brain. And therefore, in my opinion, the only safe message is not to drink alcohol during pregnancy.